Oh Came especially for my 30th birthday, so it's an honor. You know what? It's my day, so people should see me and hear me together, okay? Like some of my friends hate celebrating their birthday, but I was like, I'm all about celebrating my birthday. I also wanted to show you this crazy gift that my friends gave me. She not only came to do my hair, but she also brought me this gigantic bouquet of roses. Who are you? Wow! Look at this. I think, you, I, I think it belongs to you. <laughs> we have a special guest here. Hey. <laughs> What do you think? I like it. <laughs> he loves it. He came specially for my 30th birthday, so it's an honor uh, to celebrate together. It's gonna be a fun night. Yeah. No drinking for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I went for the dress I guys told you. My husband said that I'm a band on its own. I mean, look at this. You can hear me literally from a mile away. You know what? It's my day, so people should see me and hear me together, okay? little sweet helper who helps me make and drink juice every single morning this video to wrap up our 2021 year secret is not a secret anymore do you understood already we are expecting a second child I'll keep my head high while we're crossing the land with all the minds we lay down it's gonna take us some time but I won't What's up guys, I am so ready to catch up with you on everything and just wrap up my birthday because honestly I feel like I've been like in a birthday celebration mode for a month at least because it was big birthdays for me and for my husband. My husband celebrated 50th birthday and I celebrated my 30th birthday. I feel like we were really like focused on that because I really wanted to celebrate my 30th birthday. It's always funny like I share with my friends so, like some of my friends hate celebrating their birthday but I was like I'm all about celebrating my birthday I feel like if you don't celebrate yourself in life nobody will so why not okay I also love the fact that like I get together all my friends and I feel like it's the only uh, day in the year where we really like all of us get together and I just feel like it's always such a beautiful energy 
like all my girlfriends get along very well like we just feel like so like I had a 30 people on my birthday even more probably 34 and I just feel like everyone is a friend and like it's just a beautiful energy like there is no like grouping you know where it's like people just group together and like nobody talks to each other now like everyone having fun everyone's having party uh, so I feel like this is so special for me to like get together all the people I like and I love in one place which is my house I always do it in my house I feel like house is so personal and just gives like a different touch i feel like nowadays people don't really organize things in their house too often like we always go to restaurants so i do feel like birthday is the day where i'm like okay i'm inviting everyone to my house i organize everything in my house so everyone is always excited to come here but i also wanted to show you this crazy gift that my friends gave me it made a lot of buzz so let's have a look together Okay guys, a little pause because Aurora woke up and I need to go and feed the girl so I'll be right back with you, with you, with you and we gonna do the review of the bag that Aurora gonna get maybe when she is 21 No? You don't want the bag 21? Sure Better for me Let's go eat Okay, I'm back So, um Show you bag that I've got from my girlfriend okay this is my first Hermes bag I have to say out of all unpacking I've seen on the internet mine must be the best one because uh, my girlfriends not only gifted me this bag but they also did the whole presentation like they were so big uh, they basically did this cutout boards of Valeria the girls me you know like the one that kind of you have in the club that What's happening, Cookie? You wanna see me? Okay, sorry guys. The whole mom situation here. So um, there's this whole presentation of like cutout boards and the, like a panel with a name with a, my name on it, saying happy birthday Vida. So at first, like when the music started playing, they took it all out. I was already impressed by just presentation. I didn't expect the gift. Uh, I thought that was a gift. Uh, and then they bring this like orange box out that says our mess on it. And I was like, oh my God. When they brought it out, I was like, I think this is the bag. And when I opened it, I could not believe it. At 30 of my girlfriends chip in together and got my dream bag. It's so stupid and so materialistic and everyone now have that. But I don't know why I just wanted to have that as anyone else, right? It's, um, it's Aurora. Just kind of how we are. We like to have things that everyone have, right? Honestly, like I'm not planning to have a hundred of them. Like I just wanted at least one. So I have it now. And I think it's not just about the fact that it's an expensive gift, which of course like crazy. I was like, you guys are so crazy. Like put so much money to get me this bag. Uh, but also I know how hard it is to get it. And it took them four months to figure out where to get it. They got me this one, which I think 28 Cali. Correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not a professional identifier of these bags, but I believe it's 28. Um, and it's this um, gold hardware, which goes so perfect with my wardrobe. I love gold because I have a lot of gold jewelry and um, like a, a warm tones in my wardrobes are definitely dominating. So I think this one goes so well with everything I have. I did add this twilly on top because I feel like it just dresses up the bag, makes it more look more summery and fun and young. Uh, also, it protects the handle, which is plus, because let me tell you, I'm planning to keep this bag for many, many years and to pass it along to my girls. I did say that I, one is enough, but no, I, I would say at least two is enough because I want to have two to give to two, two of my girls. So this one is Kelly and next one, of course, I would like to have Birkin. I think this is so perfect as a first bag. Really quality investment piece. I'm scared to brisen it. I still have a plastic on, okay? Don't judge me if you see me outside and you see me still wearing this plastic because let me live, okay? I'm protecting this beauty, I'm preserving it. And if you don't see the plastic from far away, okay? You see it only up close. But I'm not taking it off for at least first few months, okay? I'm just keeping it here. Absolutely love it. I think I will do like another video where I can show... What happened, Cookie? 
sorry guys mom life where i can show you how i style this bag in the different occasions like casual sporty oh no so where i can style this bag in a different occasion like classic uh, sporty casual to give you like different perspective on it i loving it i'm loving it not gonna lie <laughs> okay i put aurora to sleep i think she really needed a nap so she was acting out here so this is the biggest gift that i received from my girlfriend my first Hermes bag as i said and it was an absolute surprise but more than anything we had a lot of fun and i think that as i said the biggest gift for me is this energy that i get every year on my birthday i that keeps me honestly so motivated afterwards and you just i don't know it's just a good reminder how female friendship is so important and i'm such a strong believer into uh, friendships I give a lot of energy to it I take it very serious and I do not like take any betrays or for me it's either like you're a solid friend or you're not not all my friends are my close friends but I do believe there are good people with a good intention and honestly like last year as I'm stepping into my 30s I feel like I filtered a lot of people out of my life because it's either like certain situation I covered where I was not happy about the outcomes or how things been handled or a few people like blew up some situation out of proportions and started talk badly about me and my family like I even so like afterwards we talked and we discussed it I still like can get over certain facts when people are like talk badly about me or my family behind my back instead of coming forward um, and just saying it right away about something that they weren't happy about rather than keeping and storing it and then kind of layering it and imagining things in their head that are not even there. Um, so I feel like I stepping into the 30s, into my 30s, into my fourth decade uh, with really lightness and with like understanding that everyone that is in my circle are chosen by me and I see qualities in them um, and the ones that were like use useless friendships that I don't care about I just had guts to kind of cut it off and you know I still gonna be friendly with those people if I see them but I just feel like it's not worth my time to keep communicating with, it, with them you know uh, offering them help or just just generally like be there for them because I do feel like any relationship requires work and friendship included um, so yeah I just think that don't waste your energy on people that are not worth it and focus on those that actually bring value to the table um, so I definitely stop being this people pleaser where I'm like scared you know not to invite people because they get hurt or you know come out wrong with certain things but no that's it i'm a girl in my 30s i'm over this whole people pleaser situation so we are on to the next chapter handling it in a different way okay so this is my thoughts on friendship and how my birthday celebration went i hope you enjoyed it uh, the decoration was absolutely beautiful i'm gonna attach all the like nam names of the vendors of the party planner of where i celebrate my birthday down below in the description of this video because i do feel like in miami it's so hard to find like a good party planner or good like cake person that is reliable that is tasty that is beautiful you know people that have reasonable pricing and and etc etc so i do feel like this birthdays my husband and my birthday i use the same people and the birthday were just so perfect and things just been handled with such care and really attention to details which is so important to me so i hope it's helpful they also do i think uh, kids birthday parties so any type of events they're in i hope this is helpful and please let me know what you think about uh, this fun vlog again i'm so so happy i'm back on youtube and uh, sharing my life sharing my feelings sharing my motherhood i know you all miss me but understand me i been literally in my I mean I still am I always say I'm in my motherhood era um, and as much as I was like resisting it because I love my work and I always want to like give it all but I do have to acknowledge that I also want to be a present mom and I don't want to regret missing those little moments because they are going to be gone so quickly she's already six months this is crazy but I do feel like I want to enjoy it as well and it's been such a hustle and such a hard adjustment 
kind of to allow yourself to like step back a little bit for work, from work. You know, I'm still involved, but I'm not like, let's say I've been producing two videos a week here, but I can't physically do it anymore because you know, like first months, uh, like baby wasn't sleeping enough and I was just out of it and like I didn't have energy even for videos, you know, and I just don't want to burn out. And I do feel like my channel and my Instagram here to bring like positive emotions and useful tips and useful content. And I just don't want to squeeze out of myself something that I'm not happy about or I don't want to film. And I always feel like filming content when of course, like I have a schedule and I have a dedication to it, but I always want to bring this like happy and positive energy into my channel so you can you can grab it hopefully throughout the screen and have it a little bit for yourself anyway happy 30th birthday to me it's over we're over my birthday this is it it's been like such a long birthday month but i'm as i said i'm so charged up by this by this energy by the love and i'm so ready to Concure the world. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Ciao.